Have you ever toasted two sandwiches? And the first one goes like, oh my god, it's the best creation that you've seen since like, I don't know, like Adam and Eve, I guess. Like, the best thing. But then you take out the other one from the toaster and it's... It's a mess. It's burnt. Nothing is like how you expected them to. Well, the Joker 2 was like that for me. I really, really, really liked the first one. But the second one, let's talk about it. So, first things first, I didn't know anything about uh, the Joker, the second film, as I expect many of you to not knowing about much. Like, we just had the trailers, like the poster and all. I personally had no idea this was going to be a musical. Like, at least I couldn't see that from the trailers or anything related to Joker, basically. I just learned about it uh, from Charlie's video. Uh, by the way, I haven't watched that video fully as well because I didn't want it to spoil anything for myself. Because, like, I didn't have particular expectations from this film. Like, I wasn't dying to see Joker 2. But, like, the first one was very good, so the reception was good for the movie. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna, like, watch it when it comes to theaters. But then I have seen this video from Charlie and he's talking about like, uh, oh my god, it's like a musical, I didn't expect that. Be and I was like, this word just came to my mind, flabbergast. Like, uh, <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting that as well. Why would I expect that? I received the news from Charlie and then I was like, totally bummed. Like, I was really not expecting something like that. But all my expectations that come from the first movie, like, again, I had no expectations when I watched trailers or something. Like, I was, yeah, this looks good. But I wasn't particularly hyped for anything that I've seen in the trailers as well. I was just like, the first one was very good, so I'm, I have expectations because of that. So I was expecting something that is like the first one because it was such a big success uh but in my opinion it really wasn't if anything i feel like it used the things that are easy to take from the first film and use that to you know seem like it's related to the first movie but it really wasn't because when i watch the first movie the things i think about are you know, psychology, you know, the awesome acting of Joachim Phoenix and many other actors and actresses as well, but especially him, like him being in the center point, like we as the viewers seeing, like, what the fuck happened to this version of Joker? I'm not really into the comics, the comic universes, so I'm not really sure if this is also a version of Joker or is it the one that I know from the previous films, like the Batman films, uh, the Dark Knight films, and all, and from the animations and also the games as well, uh, Arkham games. But I don't know about the comics, and I know that the comics are the main source for uh, these, so. Let me just say that. But the version that I knew Arthur Fleck from the first Joker film, I was expecting something like that. I really didn't find anything even reminds me of that, like, in this film. Really didn't. All I saw was... I really felt like this was a money grab, to be honest. Like, I'm just gonna say it. Really felt that when watching the film. Like, uh... Some of the things I was like looking at the screen and was like, like, Yakin, did you film this film movie for something else? Maybe? I don't know. Like, I really don't know. I don't really want to make accusations, but I also want to throw my dumb ideas and thoughts as well. Like, I really felt like Yakin Phonics just wanted to kiss Lady Gaga. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, really? Because I don't see any plot, anything going on, really. We've seen, like, three locations, I guess. Like, the asylum, the courtroom, 
and the streets, kind of. Like, I guess it makes sense because for the most part, we see how he's living in the asylum. But, like, okay, I guess, you know, we don't go really deep into that as well. Like, th there is this Joker is famous now thing also going on, like an interview with me taken and all, but like, I don't know, all of that really didn't stick on me. And what I remember from this film is that just me sitting there trying not to sleep and try not to just count the amount of that minutes or seconds passed from the last smoke, uh, kiss, or singing, dancing sequence. Because, like, I really felt at a point, like, like, I think in the first 30 minutes or something, Joachim Phonics smokes six or seven times. Really, like, I may be off a little bit, maybe, but, like, in the first hour, in the first 30, 30 minutes, he smokes around like that. Like, every five minutes of the film, he smokes again, he lights again, he lights again, like, brother brother you were in an asylum and apart from that god damn it like just are, are we just watching you smoke like yeah in the first film a couple of times it looked you know um aesthetic i guess but like hey come on man like <laughs> god damn or kissing like he kisses an inmate, he kisses another inmate, he kisses like a guard, I think, at a point. He might have. He kisses uh, the Gaga. And like, it goes and goes and goes and goes on. Like, I really felt like making the title of this video like Joker 2, you know, smoke or cigarette, kissing and singing. Basically, because it really felt just like that every five minutes, every four minutes, sometimes making a combo. But yeah, like those are the cons I had with the film, I guess. I have also some notes that uh, I've taken because there were also some some scenes that I liked. So I want to talk about them as well. But like overall, it was really not a good uh, experience for me, really. I wanted to see the film. Uh, regardless, because like I wanted to know like what went wrong, you know, but I wasn't expecting such disaster. God damn. Anyways, the musicals were not the problem. By the way, I really want to talk about that before we get into the other stuff. Like this film being a musical is not a problem. I really feel that way. Like having a Joker movie or Joker content, like, it doesn't have to be a movie, I really didn't felt like this movie was it. Like, you can have a Joker musical. The musical performances were not bad, per se, but it really felt like I'm watching a YouTube compilation or something. It really didn't felt like a, a film, basically. Like, there were two um, shows that I liked. The first one was Joker and Harley show. And the second one was The Joker Is Me. I think those two were actually really nice. I woke up during those scenes. Like, seeing something happening in the film was also really nice. Like, especially uh, The Joker and Harley show. Like, that was nice. The imagery, you know, um, what that means for Joker. Like, I get it. We see how Arthur uh, sees or experiences the stuff that happened to him with these kind of singing. But I don't associate singing and dancing and all that, like musical stuff, with the character Joker that Arthur Morgan, Arthur, not Arthur Morgan, oh my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Arthur Fleck, Arthur Fleck introduced us in the first film. Like, no, I don't expect that. I can't see joker singing with harley but not like this you know and also this may be a good idea maybe in the broadway like do that in the theater not in the cinema maybe that would be nice because like i said the songs are not like they're not bad you know i didn't really like most of them personally like they weren't my cup of tea but i wouldn't say they were like horrible 
they were bad or something. They were just not for me. And I can see this happening in Broadway. Like, I don't know. Uh, or in the theaters as a show. I don't know. But not like this. I really didn't like this. Because I wanted to see some plot going on. Some story uh, telling. Some stuff happening. Or maybe make this film. But don't make it like a sequel. Like, this film takes on... It's actually not from where we left as well. Like, I get that the crowd was captured by the police. Like, they come and arrest everybody in the area. Like, because the first movie ends like that. But why not show that? Maybe uh, pick up from exactly where you left off. I don't know. I think that would be cool. Like, seeing police getting in or through not knowing what to do or something you know i i would love that because the first movie ended i think nicely but we don't get that like what's happening you know and again i really felt like this was like a cash grab like i'm sorry i i i love the first movie so much but i really felt like they just wanted to um do some stuff that happened in the first movie that would resemble the first movie like, invoke that uh, feelings from the first movie, but leave it there. Like, don't go too far. Don't go too crazy. I think that was really what happened. I, I don't know. What would I know? Uh, I'm just a guy sitting in a chair. Just remember that. But, like, it was such a letdown. Like, it was such a letdown. I really have to say that, like, um, yeah. It was a big letdown for me uh, because it would it could have been really cool. Uh, and again, maybe shorten this a little bit, cut out some scenes, maybe not this much smoking and kissing, and you know, maybe make a special episode. I don't know, but a whole ass movie was not it. I think. Anyways, to the next stuff that I want to talk about, I really find the acting of Mr. Puddles lovely. Like, it was great. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell, but uh, it didn't really matter because most of the film was uh, musicals, like the songs, and they were in in English. Um, but I've seen the film in German with my friend. So acting and stuff was in German. And I really liked Mr. Puddles. Like, the voice acting was good, but also the acting was lovely. And I also watched the film, like, the original, in original uh, language, that scene, just that scene in English. And the acting of Mr. Puddles was actually, like, above this film. I think it was really good. I really liked it. Uh, in that scene, I woke up. Like, seeing the fear in his eyes was something I couldn't see in Arthur Fleck in this film, if you feel what I mean. Like, that fear was from the first film. And just because the second film ruined uh, the Joker, uh, the Arthur Fleck Joker in my mind, I couldn't see that. But that reminded me of the first film. Like, that acting was really good. And in a better movie... I think that acting would really put things really on a higher level. I I really see that. But let's get back to acting and also voice acting. Like I said, I've seen this film in German and I was a bit worried that I'm not watching it in an in the original language because I was expecting a, like seeing a great acting. But I said like, oh, okay, I didn't need it to. First because most of the film was uh, spent with English music, so it really didn't matter in that uh, cases. And also, there wasn't much acting. Like, I don't want to talk shit again. Weakum Phoenix is a great actor, in my opinion. Like, I really like uh, his works as an actor. But, like, this movie really felt cheap. I don't know. Anyways... Uh, I have I have my uh, complaints, but complaints wouldn't end. So let's talk about the verdict scene. The verdict day in the film, the explosion was so unexpected for me. Like I really didn't expect it seeing such a scene, and I like that. Not 
entirely because like the scene was so well made that I love it. Not like that, but I really wasn't expecting such a scene in this movie, so that really shocked me, and I like that. Um, uh, that that's good, you know. <laughs> and near the end of the movie, after that uh verdict scene, that explosion scene, Arthur says like. I don't want to sing anymore. And at that point, I really burst out just to laugh. <laughs> like, I just couldn't resist at that point. Like, I said, like, oh my God. <laughs> Such a relatable moment. I don't want to hear you sing as well. Like, I really didn't want to hear more singing. Because at that point, I was sick of it. Like, smoking, kissing, and singing. Such a cycle. So that moment was really like, yeah, I feel it. Like that was like that. Like, <laughs> and another thing is that day and the previous days as well. I was really listening to a lot of J. Schlatt, My Way. So I was like, don't play this song, but play J. Schlatt, My Way. Like that would be nice. That would be lovely. Or play like, why so serious? <laughs> that play that you. <laughs> I've seen some memes like like me disappointed because they missed the chance to play this beggar and then it's why so serious? <laughs> like that was funny because, <laughs> because at a point I really felt like that. Just just play that man. Like at least play that in the credits or something. Like what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, and lastly I wanna touch on this real quick. Because I really felt bad about this. Like they really beat up Yaquim Phonics. A lot in this film. Like they toss him in the uh, wall. Throw him in the bed. A lot of rough uh, shit going on. And I really felt bad about it. Like that. Like if it is Yakub Phonics that getting that treatment. Like I'm sorry for him. Like really. I'm really sorry for him about that. Uh, because of that experience. And if it's done with a stuntman. I'm really sorry for them as well. Like, uh, like I'm so sorry. That that those scenes look really fucked up. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that as well because like they're really rough. But yeah, other than that, uh, the movie was interesting at the very best. If you were to ask me my uh, score to it, I would say three points out of ten. Uh, it was a rough movie, but yeah. That's really about it. I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. Oh, also, let me know what you think about the movie. Because maybe there are some people that actually like the movie. And I would love to like listen to your reasoning. Um, but my points are like this. These are just my thoughts. But yeah, that's really about it. See ya.